Hello everyone, my name is Streetwise and I'm an incarnate map maker. Um, one of the things that I've been running into lately is wanting to recreate or uh, duplicate my continental maps to either resize them and uh, make them larger or create regional maps of my already existing continental maps. And I'm not an artist, I love incarnate because it enables me to jump in and create something with very little artistic sort of knowledge. Um, and one of the things that uh, I've been running into is I'm unable to freehand duplicate my already created continents. So what I'm going to show today is how to take an existing map that you've got and duplicate it and either resize it so you can do uh, a larger map or make a regional map or just duplicate your old maps from the beta into the new system. So what I'll do is I'll take my existing um, small map that I've downloaded from Incarnate. We'll say this is this is my small map and I'm going to import that into Photoshop. You can also use GIMP or anything like that. It's not it doesn't take anything too uh, uh, powerful to do what we're gonna do here. But okay so I've imported my small map. Now what I'm gonna do is resize this uh, by 200 percent to make it larger than uh, what it was in the in the, in the regular, when you download the existing maps from um, Incarnate, they come out as like 1024 by 768. So I'm just going to increase the size on it to about uh, 4096 by 3072, because what I'm going to do is cut this map into quarters and then uh, put that on my new Incarnate pages and uh, as a texture. So I've increased the size of my, my map here and... Uh, I'll just open up the large one that I've already resized correctly. So this is this is the map that we're going to use. It's uh, pixel size is 4096 by 3072. And then what we'll do is we'll create a new uh, image size that is 2048 by 1536. That's the size you want to use for your textures. So we'll call this one Northwest Quadrant. And then jump in. And all you're going to do is drag this map onto here and just go like that. Now you've got your quadrant. Now you can adjust this a little bit and, and kind of make it fit or drag it over however you want to um, sort of import this. Um, what I ended up doing was adjusting my map over a little bit because I wanted to have this mountain range um, here be the, ex the eastern edge of my map. So as long as you align things up you can you can do that but if you if you cut this up you'll end up with four like-sized um, quadrants um, that I'll open up here and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So now I've got my northwest corner, my southwest corner that connects, my northeast corner, and my southeast corner. Now what you do with these is you import them into Incarnate as textures. So what I'm going to do is fill in the land here on Incarnate. and then go to my textures and plop in my northwest corner. Now I've already got that here so I'll click on this one, go back to my brush size and fill in the map. So now all I have to do is go back to my subtract tool and cut out along the coasts. This allows me to redraw my textures in a larger size while still keeping the exact same um, coastlines and all of my stuff exactly how I did it. And if I wanted to explode this even further, I could just take, say, this section right here, this quarter, and redraw this whole section, resizing it in Photoshop to be that same size exactly how I want it. And then that, that allows you to recut it and kind of draw in your... Uh, coastlines correctly and I'll show you exactly how that ends up looking right here. This is my in new incarnate map of my old world. So if we take a look looks pretty dang close and I am a, a, very pleased with uh, the new map system. I'm, I'm a little I, I'm still wanting some of the old tokens so I can drag in because it, as you'll notice, um, adding in, say, objects, even at their smallest size, are still a little large for this scale. But um, the 
other tokens here work really well on this size. Um, so yeah, this is a easy way to bring your old maps into the new system or resize and repurpose your um, existing maps into regional maps. So hope everyone finds some use out of this and uh, yeah, happy map making.